Hey friends, uh, Chef Wainaina here. Uh, welcome back. Always good to have you here. So some times back I made a, a chapati video, a soft layered uh, chapatis, uh, which has actually been doing very well. I noticed in the comment section uh, that a lot of people have mentioned that, uh, you know, they don't have access uh, to a mixer or they want to know how to do chapatis just by hand. Uh, so today I'm doing a very simple uh, chapati recipe uh, just using my hands. Give the mixer a break. Let's do chapatis the traditional way. So to start our simple uh, chapati recipe uh, by hand, I'm going to measure three pounds of all-purpose flour, uh, this is wheat flour, into a bowl, uh, one tablespoon of kosher salt, a half a tablespoon of granulated sugar. So once everything is measured, I'm going to mix this here with a whisk just to make sure that everything is all nicely spread. So my dry ingredients are all set. I'll put them aside. For my wet ingredients, I have two cups water and a third cup of vegetable oil canola, plus extra water to use as needed. So to start my chapatis, I have my dry ingredients. I'm going to add all my water at once. Add the vegetable oil and then I'm going to start mixing this with this spatula here. You can use, you can definitely use your hands. All I need to do at this point is just to bring this together. Once it comes together, I'm going to move it to my board here. Empty the contents, everything. Scrape all this, and then with clean hands, I'm going to start kneading the dough. So all you need to do here is bring this. I'll add a little bit of this water now. I might need it. I'm gonna pull this with your hands, mix it, cut through with your fingers. So you want to pull this with the palm of your, of your hand. I'll sprinkle a little bit of my extra water here and then just using the palm, I'll get my dough scraper here, bring all this together. So you're looking for a nice uh, soft dough here it comes together very quickly. And I can use some extra flour here. And then now the dough has come together. So at this point it might look like it's, it's dry, uh, but this is what you are looking for. You are looking for a, a dough that is not too wet and not too dry. Just a soft dough, a soft Supple dough. It's definitely a nice exercise. Once the dough comes together, nice and uh, springy, I'm just going to leave it here and then I'm going to cover it with a plastic. I'm going to rest it for about uh, five to ten minutes. So our dough is nicely uh, rested. So this has made it absorb uh, all the water and spread it uh, nicely. So take off this, the plastic wrap. I'm going to lift this. I'm going to move this actually to my table here, directly to my table. And then I'm going to, to work it a little bit more. So see, just instantly, our dough is nice. It uh, looks very smooth. It's almost ready to make our chapatis. I'm going to divide this dough into two portions, just like so. And then right still on this table, I'm going to have this. I'll just cover them back again with the plastic wrap. Give them another five minutes. So the resting of the dough uh, at this point, 
uh, makes it easier uh, to roll. So our dough is nicely rested, which makes it very easier to work with uh, right now. So the more you rest your dough, uh, the softer it gets. So you see that? So that's very easy. So now I'm gonna start rolling. So I'm going to put aside uh, one of these, cover it uh, with the plastic, and then I'll start working with this. Sprinkle some flour, just a little flour on top. So when I'm working uh, with chapatis, I do it uh, slightly uh, differently, which uh, saves me time. So I wanna spread this and make a nice rectangle. So once I get my rectangle, so I'll come uh, with my oil here, just spread it. You can get a brush here, uh, just spread this all around. You can definitely use your hands. I like to sprinkle some flour, helps the layers to form a little better, uh, but you can definitely skip this. Uh, so the next thing what I do, uh, I do, I'll divide this in half using my cutter. And then I'll come to one of the halves here. I'll start from one corner here and then I'll start folding this dough in. And then I'll get up to that point and then using my my dough scraper, I'll just cut it through and boom, I got one chapati right there. So, and then I'll go. So I'll do the same uh, with the rest. Keep folding until I'm all done. When you have this one uh, left here, which is not enough uh, to make a chapati, I'll skip it. Come, I'll come to this corner and then just do the same. So I'll put these two together. So once this is done, I'll take one of these uh, rolls here and then come one corner and then boom. And then I got my, uh, my chapati and then I'll go ahead and do the rest. So this for me, it's an easier, faster way of making chapatis. If it's too big, you can you can cut that off. And, and if it's too small, I'll take this one, add it here. And there you go. I have about one, two, about that much uh, chapatis. And I like to put them on a sheet pan here. If I'm making many, if I'm just making just a few, I don't have to. So I'll just put this here the rest of our dough here and then I'll do the same uh, the same process so there you go our chapatis are nicely uh, folded so it's time to start rolling and making them into actual chapatis and cooking so first I'll put a skillet and, and then start heating it I set my my guess on media So I have some flour in a plastic container here, so I'll put one of my uh, balls here, or the rolled, the folded chapatis, dip it in the flour, then I just pat it a little bit, makes it easy for the chapati to roll. So once you get it going, so I have my pan uh, already going, so the idea is uh, by the time I roll uh, these chapatis. I usually like to start with four. Uh, that is my way of doing it. Uh, the pan will be ready to start kuchoma the chapatis. My chapati is nicely rounded. So I'll put this, this one to this corner. I'll take one more here into the flour, onto the table, spread it a little bit, and then start rolling takes a couple tries before it starts going. So there you go. Our four chapatis are done. So our pan here has come to temp. Uh, it's almost uh, smoking, uh, which is what you want. I'm going to lift up one of my chapatis and then I'm going just to lay it uh, carefully. 
and then I'm going to leave it uh, for about uh, 30 seconds, about half a minute. Once it starts bubbling, uh, it's ready to turn. So I have a plate here uh, which is lined uh, with a uh, paper towel and I have a, a kitchen towel. So that will be for our chapatis once they are, they are ready cooked. I'll put it actually on the stove. So you can see instantly our chapati is bubbling. So I'm going to take my tana here and flip it. And then I'm going to give that the other side just a couple seconds, just flip it around. And then once it bubbles on the other side, I'll, I'll lift it up and then add some canola on the pan, flip it around. See, it's already bubbling and popping. That's what you're looking for. And then just a couple seconds, add some canola, turn it, and then I'll give that side like a minute. You're looking for a nice, beautiful golden color. It doesn't take long. Just about a minute on each side once you turn it. We will go in and look. Oh, that's beautiful. Hint of canola. You look for those beautiful marks and the parts. So let it go for about a minute on that side. Flip it. And right there, our fast chapati is ready to come out. I'll move it to our plate and cover it with a towel. I'm going to lift my other chapati here, come over here, and lay it. Give it a couple seconds. Wait for it to bubble. Then come with your spatula here, or just your hands, turn it. Once you turn it, it just takes a couple more seconds and then it starts bubbling again. So those are the layers uh, we spend a lot of time uh, rolling and forming. So I'll turn it, add some vegetable oil, flip it, and then, and then it just instantly starts popping. Flip it, canola, there you have it, nice, beautiful golden color. I'll turn this, and there you go, nice, beautiful. So this is definitely done. Give this a slight wipe. I will lay the next chapati, and then I'll continue finishing the rest of the chapatis. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. So if it's your first time uh, to watch, uh, please remember uh, to subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me. Nice, beautiful bubbles. Turn it. So as you can see, you can get nicely puffed chapatis just using your hands. No machine, no problem. Turn canola, nice beautiful puff, turn it. So each party uh, takes about uh, two minutes uh, to make. We are done. Awesome. Nice time to go enjoy our chapati. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful layers, very soft. So there you have it friends, our beautifully nicely done soft layered chapatis kneaded by hand. You can do it, no machine, no problem. Go ahead and do your nicely beautiful layered chapatis right there. Thank you for watching, see you next week.